Hey guys, Rendon here with another quick video. I have this old uh, Dash Miner. So it's an X11 Miner, it's the Ant Miner D3. It doesn't produce very much, but I'm gonna hook it up to get some extra heat here in the office. And I'm just gonna walk you through the process. This was mining, I forget where it was mining at, but I'm gonna point it towards nice hash right now. And so all I need to do is hook it up uh, to my local network. So we'll plug in this network cable. Now I'm just gonna plug it in, it's already hooked up. Uh, it's just using the this standard bitmain power supply. And so I'm just gonna plug it in and then uh, it'll start mining right away. It'll actually connect up because it already has it, it's already configured, but I don't know how to get to this. So I'm gonna go to my computer, I'm gonna find out what IP address this has been assigned on my network, and then I'm going to log into the configuration on it and show you how to point this towards NiceHash, and we'll get the information from NiceHash as well. So let's take a look. So the first thing we need to do is find the IP address of this ant miner on our network. If you already know the address, you can just type it in here. It'll be something like 192.168, and then whatever your network is. Mine's .11, but a lot of times this is going to be .1 for you, and then whatever, you know, like 120 or something. And it'll try to find that, um, that address. But you have to have your exact address. And so what I would recommend doing is log into your router. Mine is .11.1. So when I log into my router, it tells me all the different devices connected, and I can just look down here for something called AntMiner. And when I find this AntMiner, then I can see what the IP address is. So right here on my local network, it says 192.168.11.138. So if we type that in over here, 192.168.11.138, it takes us to the uh, access to log in. And so I already have, I'll log in here. I think you can look up the default. Um, I'm not using the default, but you can you know find just look up the default for your miner it's like admin and password or admin and admin or something like that next we'll go to nice hash go ahead and log in uh, and when you log into nice hash you'll be at this dashboard click on the mining tab and we're gonna learn how to get the information for nice hash to put over into our ASIC miner so I'm gonna click on this connect your ASIC miner and uh, I'm gonna go to this guide right up here where it says see our guide and then on this page, if we scroll down, we'll select the location. So I'm in the USA, so I'll use the location, the USA server. And then the algorithm is X11 that I'm using with this particular script miner. If you're mining Bitcoin, you'll want to do the SHA-256. And then it gives us the information we just need to copy. So the stratum address, we copy over. And in our NiceHash miner, once we're logged in, uh, we just click over to Miner Configuration and it has different uh, spots. So it has pools one, two, and three. Uh, it'll do this, the top, pool one first, and then if that one goes offline, then it'll default to two and three. So I'm just gonna set up this pool one right now. So I, I paste this address, this URL here, and then for our username, it says use your BTC mining address, and the password is just X. I think you can do X or even nothing, but we'll put X in here. So to find our BTC mining address, we just click on the mining tab and click this mining address and then click copy. So even if you're mining, you're, you're mining Dash or you think you're mining you're like this, this is a script miner, so it's not gonna be mining Bitcoin. We still use our Bitcoin mining address just as our username or as our worker ID. And that's how NiceHash keeps track. So it doesn't matter if you think you're mining Bitcoin or not, um, just because you put a, the Bitcoin address doesn't mean you're gonna be mining Bitcoin. And so now, um, I. Uh, we just update the configuration, it'll restart our ASIC miner, and then if we go over to NiceHash, we can see that the miner is being recognized. It doesn't have any information yet because it just barely started mining, but uh, it is talking to NiceHash and it will generate some uh, money. So I hope you found this video informative. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, leave your questions in the comments below if you have any. I look forward to catching you in the next video.